Hey, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So I just wanted to let everybody know, we've hit another potential milestone, as you know, um, been hacked last week, courtesy of supposedly Russians. <laughs> We're still here. Uh, scared me off of Windows, or will eventually scare me off of Windows. For now, that's the way I'm thinking. Uh, another good thing that came out uh, yesterday from a person by the name of Ivan in my local meetup group, who has uh, shown me this uh, project called Trade Commander, uh, is is quite um, takes me back about to five years ago uh, to uh, uh, an ATS uh, algorithmic trading system called uh, Market Cetera, which was pretty well one of the first ones of its kind uh, to do a, a true open source project. They're still around, they're still kicking. Actually, the guy, Roy, is somewhere in Toronto. Um, anyways, um, but this one um, looks like it's developed by somebody out of England uh, called Trade Commander, and it's Java. Uh, I tried to build it in uh, Linux, failed miserably, privileges. I'm just a wonderful uh, Linux administrator, so I quickly gave up that, went on to Windows, um, and got the thing working. Now, just historically, like I said, we I went with uh, Market Center, which I really liked, but there was a bit of a problem. They went with their Enterprise versus their Community Editions. The Enterprise uh, went with uh, like some better uh, brokers, but the brokers was the problem. So th that's one of the reasons why I think uh, Market Setter didn't do too well at the beginning. Uh, then I moved into TradeLink, which I really liked uh, from Windows.net with C Sharp. Played with that, and then again, that one was pretty well become a debacle. Uh, there's a legacy part of it, which is pretty good actually. Um, but this one I like, uh, which is again to me back five years ago. Now, I'm going to show you how I got it working under my windows. I'm going to show you how I got it working with uh, Eclipse, uh, pretty well one of the IDEs that you can use with Java, in an integrated development environment. It, it is somewhat of a pain to work with, but um, I think they have trying to make it better. Um, but there is NetBeans, but this particular project seemed to be configured for Eclipse, so I went with I know it. Um, now, the other big gotcha is MySQL. MySQL is fine um, for now. Like I said, I just want to get up and running, see it, and play with it. So I'm going to be doing that for the next little while. But the back end I definitely want to change around is obviously using something like Redis, um, and maybe even Postgres as well, uh, and just be able to play with it and rip it apart in the back end in the source code to replace the whole um, database. And other than that, I think that the, this, pro this product is going to be really good to work with and maybe actually go with for live trading if it pans out. I'm very well known for saying I'm going to go with this, but at the same time, there's always gotchas. So I met my first set of gotchas with this install. I'll walk you through it to the best of my ability and what I've seen um, in, in these videos. And I'm going to do enough blabbing and shut up now so you can enjoy. Uh, there's two segments uh, for Windows. Uh, and uh, actually uh, doing it on a Damascus DOS command prompt and then another segment doing it within um, Eclipse and obviously you're going to live in Eclipse so uh, it's better to go that route but for a production environment you definitely need to set it up on the DOS command prompt or what I would prefer to do it in Linux. Other than that, hopefully this will help you out and uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, Brian from quantlabs.net here. I um, just want to to show you uh, the installation for a trade manager, uh, an open source uh, Java project, it's fairly recent. I've got this running under Windows. I'm going to show you the gotchas and the tips and tricks to get you up and running in Windows. Now, initially I wanted to get it running under Linux, but well, I ran into privilege problems and so on and so forth, so I gave up on the Linux install. And thankfully, I got it running under um, Windows. So, how did I do it? Uh, well, if you follow uh, these instructions, you need to make sure you have the latest version of Java 8, JDK. Uh, you also need the latest version of, um, of uh, MySQL 5.6. Now, I've got all these links here that will help you uh, guide you through if you want to use Linux. I used Ubuntu, but still failed. I have no idea why. But it's running under Windows, and I'll show that in a minute. Um, so those are some of the highlights. Um, 
Also, uh, if you're new to Interactive Brokers, because this will work uh, against the Interactive Brokers TWS software, do realize you will need to log in when you download it. Uh, use this uh, info here to log in with eDemo and demo user the password. So it's all here. All right, so um, in the trade, trade manager, um, if you come under the wiki, uh, what you'll find here is the installation guide. Uh, you really got to uh, read through this probably in its entirety before you attempt to install it. Uh, there's a couple of gotchas that you may find later on as you're reading. And uh, all in all, it does work, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so if I jump into my um, DOS command prompt here, and I just kept everything all, all, um, all default. Uh, uh, yeah, just give me a second here as I set this puppy up. Okay, so we have trade manager, the batch file. So it's, a, it's all Java, as I said. It's gonna run a jar file, it gets built. This is the, so this is where it's gonna to try to connect into the TWS. Um, so it, it, it's it's connected to TWS, I believe. Uh, I haven't done this yet. Um, but uh, I'll have to verify the uh, uh, connection here with TWS. As of my other system I wrote last year does the same thing. Anyways, but this is the... Um, actual application for trade manager um, I have no idea how to use it yet so I'm fairly new to it the whole goal of this was just to get this running as is um, so it seems to be working fine um, so that's good uh, I have no idea what I'm doing to be honest but uh, I'll eventually get to that point as I go through some of the other tutorials and probably ask questions to uh, the author of the software, but uh, so far so good. I just wish I could get it running under uh, under uh, Windows, or sorry, under Linux, but for whatever reason, it didn't work. That's fine. We got everything uh, running as is right now, which is good, and uh, that's all I care about at this moment. All right, so I'll talk to you soon. Hey, everybody, it's uh, Brian here. Uh, I just wanted to show you the Eclipse edition <laughs> of uh, this uh, trade manager. Now, uh, historically, uh, I've always, five years ago when I first saw the Market Cetra uh, app, which is pretty well one of the first ones that I've ever seen with an open source automated trading system that you could download and play with. Uh, that was done obviously in Java five years ago. Um, and then uh, the next one after that was the um, trade link. So that's a history that I've seen them. I played with a bunch of others with uh, um, Active Quant. But this other one, this new one, uh, is, is, is reminds me of, of Market Cetra. Uh, but I'm actually running it now on Eclipse. So um, I just want people to know there's a couple of gotchas here. Uh, just follow these instructions under the uh, wiki for Eclipse. Uh, a couple of things you need to be aware of. I only went with this option here. There's the Git um, as well. I'm an old school Eclipse dude, I guess. But um, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Uh, when you download the uh, 2.1 of Trade Manager, uh, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Uh, the big one specifically is, um, let's see here. Uh, Okay, so this is Eclipse here. This is Luna. Um, right here, I believe it's whatever version, but it's a Luna project. Um, and uh, typically what you need to do is when you import it, when you follow those instructions, there's a couple of little things if you're not familiar with uh, Eclipse. The big one is uh, the properties. Just right click here, go under properties, come under um, Java build path, it's a little hairy here. In here, when you try to clean the project, uh, you'll notice that there's going to be an error. Uh, and that's 
defaulted to the Java uh, tools here for JDK 1.7, but because I'm using JDK 1.8, you need to update that. So what you typically do is just point to the jar file that's going to cause problems. You can remove it here and then add an external jar and then just add that using this path under your program files, Java JDK 1.8 and then lib. And you should be able to find the jar, tools jar in there. Okay, so uh, from there you should be able to build it clean. So you can come under uh, clean here and uh, all's good. Blah blah blah. Okay. Now also uh, under the um, uh, to run it, uh, let me just show you the wiki here. Okay, so this is the wiki for the project uh, trade manager. So it's going under wiki installation Eclipse setup. I just mentioned that before. To run uh, the project old school way is you follow this uh, path here. Okay, um, which is essentially the fun joys of Java. Trade Manager, Trade Source, Org Trade UI, and then this one right here. Just go run as Java app and off she goes. And you should see it in the console. There you go. So it runs just no different than the previous segment that I showed you. Uh, and we're off to the races and again you do get all the juicy source code that we all like to see so um, and it does build um, as you can see um, and uh, I, th I think we're in good shape from here on out now I gotta learn how to use the software trade manager but there you go uh, we got a, a, our new uh, potentially new open source trading system courtesy of um, I think the author is Simon Allen um, so uh, let's see how this pans out and also for anybody that needs to know um, you know I can easily uh, apparently there's some strategies here I've not played with this to its full to its fullest yet um, but if I need to I can also use MATLAB Builder JA and easily plug those scripts and algorithms from the world of MATLAB into this so I could easily pull all my MATLAB resources using this. Um, so we're, we're all good to go. Um, and uh, again, part of my intention is to uh, get rid of our friend MySQL. And uh, I should show you this in a minute. And then use something like Redis. Um, but anyways, let me just show you. This is the workbench for the latest version of uh, MySQL. And here's the uh, tables for the trade prod. Uh, this is during the build process. Uh, there's the wiki, explain it in the wiki. So it's all here. This is the uh, schema for the database. Um, so let me just uh, pull that up. So again, if you come under wiki, come under Eclipse, so a little too uh, installation. Uh, and then you'll see here, uh, this and this on your targets, on your build, on the command line. Uh, now I'll walk you through that process. Okay, so uh, we're up and running. I'm not going to look at this for a while because I want to get through my learning on the uh, futures and options. But uh, this this looks pretty pretty hot, um, and I'm pretty excited to get it up and running. And uh, I, I'm sure I can get it running under Windows or Mac down the line. Um, under Windows, but it's just a, uh, uh, sorry, uh, for moving away from Windows, so I'm sure it can be done, it's just a privilege thing, and, and as I keep saying, call me lazy, but all I cared about was just getting this thing up and running, seeing it run, building it within something like Eclipse, and yeah, I've accomplished it. it was uh, kind of a pain, but hopefully this will walk you through um, the less pain, especially for those that are new to uh, painful IDEs like Eclipse and uh, Java in itself. All right, but uh, there you go, open source training system now running. Talk to you later.